Hey guys, what's up? As from the title, you probably know what this video is about. It is about the fact that I had to stop reborning. And I don't know yet if this is going to be a temporary thing or a permanent thing. I'm just hoping it's not permanent because I do actually really enjoy reborning. Well, obviously, because I won't continue doing it if I didn't like it. But basically, I, you're probably going to jump to conclusions straight away because I do actually use heat paints and a lot of people are probably thinking that it's for the reason that because the paints are kind of toxic and also the fumes that come out of the oven because with heat paints you have to um, put the dolls in the oven and you can get something called vinyl poisoning where like the fumes from the vinyl uh, well it's basically kind of self-explanatory you get poisoned by the vinyl but it's not to do with that and I'll get onto that in a moment and so this might not be a permanent thing because I could go over to air dry paints but if I'm honest I don't actually like air dry paints I have tried them and they're just not for me like when I first started reborning I really enjoyed the painting part but at the same time I really hated the air dry paints which is why I switched over in the first place um, and I didn't go back since then but now maybe I, I might have to I don't know so basically what happened was I've been reborning for quite a few years now well I think it's been about three um, so yeah and in that time I've been okay really like I've not really had any problems the first time I used the heat paints though um, I was a bit worried because of what people said about them and also I had a sore throat after I used them but actually it turned out I just had a cold and I was just overreacting over nothing and um, so I don't necessarily think that heat paints are dangerous if you use them in the right way like if you're baking a doll obviously it, I think they say on the instructions and stuff like online not to bake the doll indoors or like in well in a place that's not very well ventilated because of the obvious reason the fumes coming out into your nose and like yeah if you use heat paints correctly you don't really have anything to worry about um, if you follow the instructions and learn how to protect yourself um, because it the fumes and everything like it's basically like you're in a factory well I guess a factory would be worse but like you know um, you always gotta like protect yourself from the fumes and stuff so now we've got that out of the way basically this is not about the heat paints really well sort of a little bit kind of I don't know Let, let's just go straight into it so basically I do actually suffer from headaches and um, occasionally migraines like it's a bit of like a chronic thing because like it comes and goes but when it does come it lasts sometimes for weeks it's like every single day of the week and painkillers just do not work for me like if I use uh, ibuprofen that sometimes works but like not always and sometimes once it's weared off the next day or like sometimes if I try and sleep it off or it or the pills wear off I, I basically have the headache again so I'm like I'm stopping the pain but at the same time the problem's still there because I'm just trying to mask it and stop the pain but anyway enough about me that that wasn't really that relevant so yeah I am I am prone to headaches and I do get them a lot like at the moment I did actually go to the doctor get some medication and but at the moment they actually seem fine like I had um, a period of time where it was about a whole month I had headaches almost every single day but since I went to the doctors I didn't even need to take the medication he gave me which is kind of awkward because they've just suddenly stopped but I just know that they'll come back again but anyway um, so I've really pinned down the problem here because when I was reborning recently I've I can't do it without getting a headache and I can't like reborn at all like it I, do, I've, I did sometimes get headaches but that was usually when I was reborning for a long period of time like hours but now I can't even like put the the paint paint and the paint thinner into the pot and mix it round without getting a headache and so I recently also bought a mask for reborning because I thought a mask would help because I thought if it's the fumes and everything then maybe I, I should have a mask on but the thing is when I put the mask on 
it still gave me a headache even when I took it off and I could smell it from the other room like the paint thinner and everything and you know I've really thought about this and I've realized that it's not the paints it's the paint thinner and I'm kind of concerned now like but this has gradually gotten worse and worse like before I could paint for hours without getting a headache but now it's gotten to a point where I can't paint at all without getting a headache like and it even when I've been painting for about five minutes straight afterwards it took me the headache would not go for about like a few hours that's how bad it was so I just knew I had to do something about it yesterday I finally actually I think it was the day before I finally threw away the paint thinner because just something was not right about that paint thinner like well I noticed for a few months, I, I have had it for a few months, and I guess maybe if I was painting Reborns very, very, very regularly, and like every single day, maybe I would have used it up in time, and maybe it's sort of gone off a bit. I don't really know what has happened, but the paint thinner has... I did actually notice the paint thinner was starting to smell a little bit sweaty. I can't even describe it it had a bit of a sweat smell to it for some reason and um, I just figured well maybe I, I don't know I don't know what I figured to be honest like I just thought maybe that was normal and like maybe I used a brush that wasn't that clean and like I put it in and like it now it smells basically but um I'm starting to think I'm starting to think that this this is not normal and I'm a bit concerned about the paint thinner because like it just doesn't seem right I don't know so I've gotten rid of the paint thinner and I'm going to try a different kind of paint thinner but if the problem still isn't gone hasn't gone then I guess unfortunately I will have to stop reborning or go on to air dry paints which I hope it it well I, I definitely know it's not the it's definitely I definitely know it's the paint, uh, the paint thinner, not the paints, because I know the paint, um, and it literally does nothing to me. But the paint thinner is a solvent, so as soon as you sniff it, it goes straight to your head, and you can feel a bit of an ache in your like head. Well, basically, recently it's been like that. Like it hasn't been all that bad. So I don't know if it is me or it is the paint thinner, but I've thrown it away anyway. And I'm going to try a different one. Um, so yeah, that is the reason why. What what was even stranger was a lot of people were saying that it wasn't really normal that it was giving me a headache. Like people were saying, well, I'm prone to headaches and migraines, and I don't get a headache at all from reborning or the paint thinner. So that was a little bit concerning. So I don't know. I did actually buy this this paint thinner from a reputable brand and. Well, it wasn't really a brand, it was a company that sells reborning supplies. Um, but I'm thinking now that maybe it wasn't really safe to do so, and it was purchased on eBay. And I think I definitely should have bought something that was from, like, maybe more of a, like, craft um, craft store or something. Because other people were recommending me something called Mona Lisa paint thinner that apparently doesn't smell. So I'm going to try that and hopefully that will work. But then if that doesn't work or take away the headaches, which I, I think it, I think, I don't think it is the paint. I don't think it's the oven because I paint, I oven bake outside. So it must be something, it must be the paint thinner. I just know it must be the paint thinner. So if it doesn't go then, the headaches, then I'll just know that the paint thinner is just not good for me. I'm just gonna have to try and try some paints that don't use paint thinner and maybe use water instead. So that is really all I have to say. The reason why I stopped reborning and I just thought this would be a useful video. I wasn't gonna make a video, I ended up making a post on Instagram, but I thought I might as well make a video anyway just to like warn people like because if they are getting the same symptoms as me where they can't reborn for a minute like because of the smell and the like the uh, the smell of the paint thinner and stuff and the headaches um I've been working on the same doll for about like I don't know like three or f three to five months just because of how bad the problem is so you know I, I just thought I'd, I'd make a video anyway so I hope this was helpful uh, to anyone 
And if you've got any advice for me down below, um, yeah, just let me know because it, it is kind of bad situation. I don't want to put my health in danger for a hobby as much as I do love the hobby. Yeah. So thanks for watching and I really hope you understand and I really hope I can start um, reborning again soon. And yeah.